Well, we are almost halfway through the month of July, and that means for a lot of kids in our area, summer break is going to end in less than a month. And the big question we know for you students, parents, and teachers is what will school look like when it resumes? So Duval County students could have choices when it comes to going back to school this fall. The district's rolling out options that include both in-person as well as online instruction. But there is another hurdle before anything is set in stone. And so tonight on your sides, Alex Osides explains what the district is now suggesting and what's next. In person, virtual, or a little bit of both. Options put on the table by Duval County school leaders is still needing to be approved by the state. One, full time in person instruction that'll be first open just to elementary students starting August 10th. Two, a hybrid where instruction blends classroom and online instruction during the week. And three, Duval Virtual Instruction Academy for families that don't intend to send their kids back to brick and mortar in all this year. City Rourke is a mother of three with a difficult decision to make. No one is ever, this is not going to be 100 percent making everybody happy, right? But her mind isn't made up just yet. She questions that if students are locked into those options that they make at the beginning of the year and what happens if there's a positive case for coronavirus on campus. Superintendent Dr. Diana Green. There is an executive order that was given that our school should be open five days a week. Uh, our plan is trying to bridge that trying to be in consideration, not only for our families, but our employees as well. Rourke says whatever the choice, she hopes parents will prepare their kids to be safe. So it doesn't matter where you're at. You just have to be smart wherever you're at. Ahead at 6, the clock is ticking in why parents may need to make a decision before the end of the month. I'll have that coming up. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.